You know, the next few weeks are filled with fun stuff in America's coolest hometown of Marion, Virginia. Here to get us ready for everything from a Hall of Fame induction to Derby Day in Marion is our good buddy Ken Heath. How you doing? Always good to be here, my brother. Yeah, always enjoy having you here. The, we Every time you come, it seems like the list gets longer and longer. It does. Of stuff it does. That you all got events that you all have got going on. Let's talk about a very special person, James Ray Plummer. You know, this is something just so awesome for me personally. My grandfather was a Tom's Peanut Man when we were growing up. He would take me up there when he was doing the concession stand, and I'd sit and watch the Marion Mets. And Nolan Ryan pitched his first professional ball in, 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 in Marion. Right. But the big story for Marion is James Ray Plummer. When he was 12 years old, they hired him on as a, bat, as a bat boy. He worked his way up to the main office in New York City in 1976. Uh, matter of fact, he also managed the Marion Mets. He was the youngest African-American uh, coach of a, a professional sports team. So a Marion guy does great. He's up there, and if you go to New York City now, to City Field, he never made it over to City because he passed away. We're showing that plaque. There you right go. There. They've got a plaque on the Plum Room because he's the one who arranges, arranged the people to throw the first pitch and to sing the national anthem. The public relations guy for the Mets. They're putting him in the National Mets Hall of Fame this summer, but we're going to get him in the Smith County Hall of Fame on May the second at the Marion versus Lebanon baseball game. We hope the folks come out and cheer on James Ray Plum in the memory of the Marion Mats. Fantastic being able to remember yeah. James Ray Plummer there. Let's let's go on. We got to we got to cover some ground here. Earth sure Day do. is coming up. Tell us about Earth Day in Marion. Earth Day. The Chamber of Commerce of Smith County is doing Earth Day across the county. The one in Marion is going to be at Riverbend Park. We invite folks to come out about nine o'clock in the morning. The Salt Trail over in Saltville, and then the Riverbend trail come help pick up trash help clean up the area make it more attractive as our guests start rolling in and the run for the roses is there you go up soon the kentucky derby a lot of people you know we get through the masters and everything starts turning toward the triple crown and the kentucky My derby kentucky is special. Home. yes and you got the derby day hat contest coming up at the marion's farmer's market we do and it is some neat prizes in there for the hats but also for the kids it's going to be the best dressed kid too so it's all tied in the marion farmer's market leslie van over our farmer's market manager came up with these ideas, partnering with downtown businesses. It's right. also May the 4th, which is Star Wars yes. Day. So the toy box is giving $150 worth of Star Wars toys wow. toward the, the kid winner of that. So that's going to be a lot of fun. May the 4th at the Farmer's Market, and it starts at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. Goes so to you're liable to go down to the Farmer's Market and see some amazing hats. Yes. And then see like R2-D2 and see R2-D2 and, and, and Darth and, Vader running around. And, and grab some lettuce. Yes. So you get it all. <laughs> all in one place. All in one place. Farmer's Market, though. Y'all yeah. do such a great job with your That's home. And that's the kickoff of the yeah. Farmer's Market market for the season will be open every every Sunday or every Saturday all the way through the season after this. And you got some great great news as far as the Lincoln Theater. You got some great acts. An act that we're sharing with Marion and Johnson City and here at daytime as There well. you go. Now Chapel Heart's going to be on your show Friday yes. and then uh, they're going to be uh, coming up on uh, this coming Sunday okay. uh, at the Lincoln Theater. Aaron Tippin's going to be there Saturday night. Wow. Randall Opry remember yes. uh, Aaron Tippin then Sunday Chapel Heart Next weekend's another big weekend at the Lincoln. If you've never seen the classic movie, The Godfather, on the big screen, that's going to be Friday night. Oh, man. And then Saturday, uh, the King of Cowtown, William Lee Martin, is going to be there doing his comedy. Uh, and then we've got a ton of people coming to the Lincoln Theater. Presley Barker, Sam Bush, Mark Lowry, Gene Watson, Rhonda Vincent. Man, everything. If you haven't seen the classic movies, they're going to be showing the Titanic. They're going to be showing Forrest Gump, E.T., all the way through the holiday season. So and what a great, there's always something to do what in What a America. great atmosphere to watch. Yeah, that. it is. Classic I mean, movie in a classic 1929 theater. movie theater, you can't beat it. All right, Kim, appreciate you. Always buddy. good to be in here. Hey, folks, if you want to find out more, all you got to do, go to, go to the website. We've got there right there, marionva.org, for more information. We'll be back.